Problem 3.2-2. An aluminum pipe is bonded to a brass rod and subjected to a compressive force of 80 kilonewtons. Determine the average normal stress in the aluminum and the brass. The pipe has an outer diameter of 80 millimeters and an inner diameter of 55 millimeters. In this problem we have a solid axial member. The outside portion is aluminum, the inside is brass. We have the modulus of elasticity for aluminum and brass, the length of the member, and uh, we're ready to do this problem. The first thing I'm going to do is find the cross-sectional areas of both the aluminum and the brass. The cross-sectional area of the aluminum pipe is pi over 4 times the outer diameter squared minus the inner diameter squared, and the cross-sectional area of the brass is 0.055 meters the diameter and square that times pi over 4 gives this value here for the cross-sectional area. Next I'm going to draw a free body diagram. Okay I've drawn a free body diagram of the cylinder and at the base where it is resting on the ground there is a reaction support of 80 kilonewtons. The way I've shown the 80 kilonewton load on the top is to divide it. Part of it's going to be a load in the brass, part of it's going to be a load on the aluminum we're going to assume that the load P in this diagram is being spread over uh, both materials. Summing the forces in the y direction, we get that 80 kilonewton load positive minus the force in the brass minus the force in the aluminum is equal to zero. We can rewrite that equation as shown here. And you see we have two unknowns. No more equations of static equilibrium. That means this problem is statically indeterminate. We need to find another equation, and that equation is going to be our compatibility equation. Now, when we know when we put this load on the cylinder that it is going to deflect, the cylinder is going to get shorter. And because the aluminum pipe is bonded to the brass rod, we can say that the, the deflection in the aluminum is equal to the deflection in the brass and that is essentially our equation of compatibility. So here's the equation of compatibility. Delta, or the deflection in the aluminum, is equal to delta, the deflection in the brass. Now I expand both these terms with PL over AE. Okay, I've now expanded my compatibility equation, substituting PL over AE for each delta. For delta aluminum, the force P is the force in the aluminum. L is just the length, I'll leave as L. The cross-sectional area, we solved above, 0 0.00265 meters squared. And the E is the modulus of elasticity of the aluminum, which was given 73.1 gigapascals. This term here is the def term for the deflection in the brass. For P, we put in the force in the brass, L is just the length. A is the cross-sectional area of the brass, which we found above, and E is the modulus of elasticity for brass, which was given. Because L is the same on both sides of the equation, they cancel out. Now I will solve for the, this equation for the force in the aluminum. Solving this equation for the force in the aluminum, I get that the force in the aluminum is equal to 0 0.806 times the force in the brass, and we'll call that equation 2. In the next step, I'm going to substitute equation 2 up into equation 1 here. I get, for the force in the brass, a value of 44.3 kilonewtons. Using equation 2, I can now solve for the force in the aluminum. I get 35.7 kilonewtons. The problem asks us to find the average normal stress in the aluminum and in the brass. We can, use, we can find that using the equation normal stress is equal to the axial load divided by the cross-sectional area. I get for the stress in the aluminum the axial force 35,700 newtons, the value from above, converted to newtons, divided by the cross-sectional area is 13.5 megapascals. And for stress in the brass using the same equation I get 18.6 megapascals as the average normal stress, and we're done.